All right. So I, I was thinking, you know, you just do your daily thinking. Sometimes random thoughts pop into your head. I, I have an idea for a world here. All right. So I, you know, what if uh, since this mod, it lets you turn off shooting through mountains. So that means you can have like walls and stuff. But beyond that, you can have like little cave systems or whatever. I want to make an ant hill, you know, like a like one of those things you have when you're a kid, right? And you know the blue stuff. Okay, it's not gonna be blue, but you know. So first, we're gonna we're gonna have to cover this all up. We're just gonna have to cover it all up with mountains. Okay, okay. Next step, we're gonna take we're gonna take the soil. This is gonna be our top of the, you know, top of the farm, the ant farm. Like you know how they always have the top there that they can get like supplies and stuff from so it's gonna be soil so we can uh so i can water it so like let's water it and now now we're gonna you know put a ton of bushes up here so this is where they're gonna get their food okay and then we're gonna we're gonna i'm gonna use forest to uh to make the tunnels i feel like that since they really need wood to build so we're just do one little tunnel we're gonna actually i don't think about it hold on all right, I've come up with an idea. I think we're gonna have two ant species, okay? We're we're gonna have we're probably hmm, probably the dwarves and the orcs. You know, they the dwarves seem like I don't know. I actually, you know what? Let's do dwarves and humans. Th those are gonna be our two types of ants. All right, and I'm gonna make I'm gonna do their ant hills. I like I think so. You see, we can do this, right? I want to do that for like the little. You know, they always have like these little like spotches that they make, you know, where they put all the stuff. So I'm going to do that, for, you know, and then I'll connect it. I keep saying, you know, a lot, uh, you know, no, okay. <laughs> all right. So boom, there we go. We, we got, I got like the little things. I connected them all in like this, you know, it just looks natural, kind of squiggly lines, but we're going to have the queen's nest down here. So in the queen's nest, uh, we're going to throw in some gold. I, I'm gonna throw some gold. It's gonna be nice down here. You know, this is where the queen's gonna live, so it better be nice. All right. Uh, and actually, we're gonna have a little, kind of like a little food deposit on the side for the queen. I feel like they always have like the little larvae, you know, making stuff. And I guess it's it's not really gonna be larvae. It's just gonna be like regular farm, but you know, it's it's there in spirit. Okay. All right. I've gotten all the grass there. Now I'm gonna we're gonna place some stone in these pods right here. You know, from digging in the earth, we're going to have access to you know, some small minerals, you know, the whole thing. But I also have a, another cool idea, I think. So I'm going to, we're going to have like little mineral deposits for like iron and stuff. So we're going to have like hills. I'm going to take hills, make just a little blotch right there, maybe one right there. We're going to actually do three of those. And then inside of them, we're going to put the iron. And that's where they're going to be able to get their iron. I'm going to do it on the other side as well. And I'll connect them too. You know what? They need like a little entrance too. Uh, I did the both. It's starting to look pretty good. Um, but they're gonna need like a little mound for the entrance, so we're gonna do this. So first, you know, we're gonna do this with the forest, and then we're actually gonna go back with the mountain, and then you know, kind of circle that back in. And now it looks like an actual ant hill. Okay, that's actually it's looking good. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, now we just gotta, you know. We're just gonna throw some seeds in, get the get the wood going, get the food deposits going, and then we gotta add our queens, and uh, we'll be ready. All right. So every every ant colony is a queen, right? So we're actually I'm gonna go in here. We're gonna give them all adamantine armor. Boom. There we go. And we're actually gonna add some traits too. All right. I've uh, I this is the queen. Let's you know let's rename it. Uh, the the dwarf the dwarf queen the dwarf queen oh my lord can I spell at all the dwarf queen we're gonna slow because they're gonna be big so as you can see they're a giant slow but you know they're gonna have the brains I gave them ambitious so they can act on it so they become queen of their kingdom attractive because I think that actually makes them have children faster fat just because I don't know I guess they just eat a lot and then immortal so they don't die and uh, they'll persist throughout and just keep making babies, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to do the same to the human. All right, I finished them up. Um, we're just going to let them start. You're going to, you know, they're going to found and it'll be a sec. I gotta, I'm going to bump up the speed uh, and, you know, we'll, we'll let them get settled into their new home. You know, 
the new little ant home. It's, look at it, isn't it beautiful? It just brings a tear to my eye. Um, well, this is kind of awkward. Um, I was just kind of messing around, doing my own thing. I don't know. I was just kind of having fun with the ants and just throwing them. Okay, I don't know why I was doing it. I'm going to be honest. I was just, it looks cool. I don't know. But then I turn over. I'm like, oh, let me check on how they're doing. Dwarves, great. Come over here. There's no one. The human queen has died. I don't know how. Don't know why. But uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have to restart them. They're going to be behind though since, you know, they obviously died. Oh, okay. Now I see. Now I see the culprit. I see the culprit now. All right. I have given them an axe. So hopefully they can survive now from the pack of wolves. They have full adamantine armor. Okay, there we go. Hallelujah. If they lost with full adamantine armor, I don't I don't know what. I mean, that would that would have been just shameful. All right. It's actually going very splendidly this time. They're advancing quite far. Oh no, they, not the food supply. Okay, that's fine. But uh, they actually, the doors have put a little outpost or a little, their next village is in this little crevice. I don't know what you call it. I don't, some, my brain is not breaking. And also, I don't know what's, listen, I I don't know what to say, okay? I'm just, just sometimes, you know, when you slack off and you know, when you're doing something, just do random crap. Well, right now I'm just making zombie things and bears are eating everything that I put in here. So that, that's pretty much it. Not, nothing else is going on in there. Don't worry about it. All right, so I come back from, you know, letting the dog out to, you know, to use the bathroom. And this I come back and this is, why are they here? Why are the humans here? I, I, they just walked in to the Dorvid anthill. Also, there's so many sheep. Oh my lord, there's so many sheep. Okay, but they just walked in. Okay, um, I guess that's how it is. But they're expanding a lot faster than the doors, which I think is what usually happens anyway. Um, and also update for this is just a ton of zombie turtles. That's it. But yeah, that was just, I'm sure I, they'll probably, you know what? I'm also going to turn off, um, I'm going to turn off, not borders. I'm going to turn off, no, I'm going to turn off town names because, you know, it's just one colony. We should look at it as one colony, you know what I'm saying? But, uh. I, I guess I guess we'll see how uh, <laughs> this turns out. I don't think they're gonna stay friends for very long. I I think we need to show the humans why you shouldn't, you know, just colonize the surface like this. It, it's very dangerous to do that, you know. So uh, we're just gonna drop a little, just gonna drop a little cloud. It's gonna, you know, just spawn a little bit of these guys. Just a that's just a few burger spiders. Also, all sheep that spawn from now on have madness. Because I felt like, I don't know, that was cool. That's pretty much it. That was, like all animals that spawn now have madness. Yeah, I, and now, you know, the surface is a dangerous place. You can't just wander up here you, without consequences. You know, th things want to eat you. You know, ant colonies, they, they're they are pretty good, you know. They they protect you from a lot, but uh, when you go to the surface, it's it's another it's another person's domain, you know. Um... Okay, so they are invading now the human ant colony. The burger spiders are invading the human ant colony. Uh, the humans are like trickling down and they're just following them. And that's a child. Oh, that's a child ant. They're dead. Okay, well. Uh, oh no, they are right in the very beginning. They're, they're just at the very top. Oh, they're all coming in. Uh, they, they, send, they smell blood. They smell blood in the water. We do have a... Uh, we, we do have a human force right here, but remember they can't shoot over mountain walls anymore. So they they can they have to hold them in these tight confined spaces, which could go poorly or very no yeah it's gonna go poorly yeah I, that's what I thought. You can't just hide on the other side of a mountain and shoot over and kill them. And this is this is the attack of the burger spiders. Oh, oh no, <laughs> they're holding over here though. I on the right, but. The left is just getting run through. There's there's no soldier ants to protect them. They're all dying. Oh, the, the burger spider invasion. What's going on over here? The dwarves, they still haven't done anything. What? If... Oh my God. It's, 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 it's a monstrosity. The human ants have dealt with the burger spider threat, but not without a lot of casualties. And, uh, should put them back a little bit. The doors, they, they they needed some catching up to do, if we're being honest. 
they're, they're falling behind and they're not going to war just letting the humans sit in their own anthill like they're in your anthill doors like you got no respect for yourselves i don't understand all right, all right listen they've had a lot of time to build up now so we're just gonna i think it's time you know it's time for some war to happen just a little bit of war never hurt well actually it hurt a lot of people but you know i why is my brain just not working where right here spite boom fight boom i just want to see the immediate raids onto these human and like why are they here also let's uh let's turn diplomacy off so uh, we make sure things uh stay you know spicy you know what i'm saying just just spicy also the doors started well how how are you they building right there where do they even get their wood from they just pick the branches off the berries i i don't understand also where's the door oh now that is the army poured through the ant tunnels humans have some archers to defend but i don't think they're gonna have enough yeah okay yeah look at how many doors there are oh my god it's gonna be a massacre but that doesn't mean <laughs> There, that doesn't mean the doors are out of the woods. We still got to deal with this settlement, and uh, the humans, they are pretty large and in charge. They have a massive arm. They have a massive standing army. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, just look at the humans swarm out of their anthill to meet the Dwarven forces. Uh, they did not send that many people, the Dwarves. Oh my god, they're still coming? Through the... There are way too many human soldiers, human soldier ants. I mean, it actually looked like a real anthill there for a second. <laughs> they just poured through the opening. There have been, to, you know, fire anthill. Uh, you poke it, and just an entire swarm comes out. That's literally what it was. They 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 poked a they poked a fire anthill. That was not a good decision. I'll tell you right now. The human ants have found their way right into the den of the dwarves, but uh. Let's just say there's like not a lot of doors to defend. All right, it, it's looking kind of rough. They're gonna immediately just destroy this. Why are they even trying to build out here? Uh, and now they're gonna get even closer. They're gonna get brought in even farther. I think the honestly, I think the doors. I forgot that they have to have these specific walkways, or otherwise they won't build anything. So they built a great thing down here, but uh, you know, they they can't fit too many houses in there. I mean, look at the humans. They just jam them in there. They don't they don't give a crap about, you know, looking nice. They just literally just jam them in there. And the humans, oh, they're coming right down the funnel. The archers, I, I don't know if archery is still... It, it might be nerfed a little bit if, you know, if you hold around a corner or hold the entrance to a town. But down this long stretch of a, uh, of a tunnel, it still is pretty effective. That is for sure holy crap this is a whole archer division you know uh archer ants i guess i wonder if that's a thing in real life it's time another human a swarm is coming in right now oh look oh my god look at them and yeah there's no dwarven force all the dwarven soldiers are in the nest protecting the queen uh but you know if they lose all their territory it doesn't matter if they try to protect the queen because the humans will literally just have 10 times as many troops as they will it's 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 not going to be a competition if they keep doing that oh i thought the humans were going in apparently they just backed out a little bit they they keep you know get dipping their toes in they keep you know getting cold feet and then backing out but i think we may well, maybe see them swarm around the doors are actually holding off in these tunnels a little bit these tight corridors kind of separating the the humans but they're going to immediately destroy this little um ant farm place little crevice and uh, they're gonna keep moving downwards. But as they get deeper, you know, they're gonna get more and more confused, they're gonna get more and more spread out. And uh, they're not gonna, they may not be able to actually attack as well. Or I guess I could be completely wrong and they could just destroy them. Um, that that could be definitely a possibility. Yeah, okay, that's what it, okay, it might be, that's what it's looking like. The humans are moving closer and closer down. They're, they're getting, they're getting a lot closer to the queen's nest. It's it's just right down this corridor. Uh, yeah. Oh, but that's where all the dwarven troops are. So if they can potentially wait, what are they doing? You know what? Get out of that corner, dude! Like, stop. There you go. What do they got? They got 
That guy literally just looks like he went to the thrift shop and got himself some armor. Oh my god, what was that? Uh, <laughs> the war going on deep in the tunnels has been... It's, it's been going. They're, they're taking their sweet time, that's for sure. But it actually looks like they're taking up a nest in the Dwarven... Uh, oh my god. Just zoom out. And just look at how many human in they're they're actually like the fire ant swarm like what what okay then that is intense and they're coming right for the queen nest this place i don't think it's going to drag too many because it's kind of curvy path it's kind of hidden or never mind okay you know what just just take whatever i'm saying and just flush it down the toilet all right oh we actually have some people already in the queen's nest where we literally just being surrounded by soldier ants. That's literally okay. You're letting your people die. You, oh, the pet. They're sending the peasant. They're sending the the worker ants. Sorry, not the peasant ants. The worker ants. <laughs> the peasant ants. Oh no. <laughs> they are breaching the queen's inner sanctum. The soldier ants. They're still. They're still. They're still. Okay. Now. Now this is just. Come on. You're just. You're on the complete opposite side. You're, you're literally letting the queen fight before you. They're, they're finally there into action. Oh, we're gonna slow it down right to one times. We're gonna see this. Oh, look at how many ranged ants they have. That there, I mean, there has to be an ant real life if you like shoots like acid or just like a projectile, right? Probably not, but that'd be pretty sick. Well, they're just getting torn apart by all these arrows. Holy crap! The, they they barely even made it to the art. Maybe they can take a few. Their entire army is pretty much already dead. They're gonna the soldier ants are uh, uh, Apparently they weren't that well equipped. All right. Um, oh, no And now we have the worker ants trying to come out and defend it's getting desperate now But the humans it looks like they're getting a little confused in these tunnels I mean they aren't their home tunnels and they're not bringing the troops in to finally finish the fight, you know, but uh it, It's it's it, it won't take much effort like literally just send like a like 50 people you can take out the town like that's it like the town is toast let's be honest here now this is what i'm talking about they're finally making their way down there come on now you're so close you're so close yeah so far just, just oh there we go there we go now now we're talking all right they're 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 just the queen is trying to pop out as many babies as she can dude <laughs> she, you gotta send them all to die before you i guess oh no not the not the baby ant the the queen what is she doing what what is she doing she's actually kind of going crazy she's one okay no oh there goes the dwarven queen and uh when your queen's gone i mean honestly like the whole kind of thing just collapses uh yeah so we're just gonna have to really do that or i guess we can let the humans finish them off we're just gonna do a little bit of that let it kind of collapse. All the children running around that she popped up before she died. It's, it's, yeah, it's over. The queen, you know, it, it just collapsed. Without the queen, there's nothing there. I mean, I guess they can keep trying. But, uh, alright. That, no, that's it. <laughs> it's just a massacre at this point. I, I can't, this must be like, I don't, this is, must, this is hard to watch. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Uh, any more night wherever you are. Much love, and I will see you next time. Peace.